think it cuts off after 20 minutes. And I'm just rambling, and I'm, I doubt anybody ever watches this, but um, somebody gave us, I guess, about the neck tension on that. Just different. Um, like 10 pounds of deer burger. And, uh, you know, you don't want to be snobby, but I'd already come to the conclusion that I didn't want. I didn't want any meat that had been shot with wet ammo, and um, and Mark Mark still he he's, he shoots that Acubon out of his Ot six, and he does it because it shoots so flipping well. I've seen him make some phenomenal shots. He kills almost all his deer at 500 yards or more, <clears throat> and he just he's got that summer gun dial, but. Somebody gave us like 10 pounds or something of burger, and I was like, well, I'll make tacos with it. And, or something to that effect. I, mean, I think it was tacos. And I don't think it was chili, and, I don't, and I, I'm pretty certain it wasn't spaghetti, because I would have been really pissed in. <clears throat> it was absolutely loaded with lead. And I just had to, we just threw it all out. Um, you know, because I feed my kids this stuff, you know. Um, you know, the meat is better than anything you buy in the store, but not if it's got a bunch of damn lead in it. So that's when I just decided to go to the mono route. Um, now for paper punching and everything, I still shoot, you know, lead cores. Um, that ELDX shoots really well out of just about every gun I've ever tried it out of, you know, but on game it's terrible. It's just an absolute, ter absolutely terrible bullet. Especially like on something big and heavy bone, heavy structured like an elk or moose or something like that. I mean, it's going to kill them. And it might even kill them dead in the doornail right then and there. <clears throat> but it's going to tear the hell out of your meat. Like if you punch a shoulder on an elk, typically you get about 40 pounds of meat off of a shoulder on a mature bull. You know, 40, you know, 50 thereabouts. Um, if you got all the all all of the shoulder on there, but if you you know so if you punch it if you punch one of them real explosive bullets through that, uh, you're losing you're losing all that meat you know. So I just decided not to not to use it. Put a little bit of a crimp on there. I think it's all right. It looks consistent. I don't know if it is or not. Um, 